What are you asking, Sam? <laughs> Do you remember when we were having dinner one time and then out of the blue, I was like, Do you want Kia? Yo, literally. <laughs> it was at the end of Lazy Pew. It was literally at the end of Lazy Pew Awards dinner and out the blue, Tamara was like, You want Kia? That's, 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 like, that's how we went from small talk to medium talk and one spoonful of salad. Okay. Uh, spoonful of salad. Um, do I want kids? Yeah. I, it's not like a desire or a dis or a non-desire. It's mm -hmm. like if it happens, it happens. Like I tell you what, I'm tired of using condoms. So. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so you never know. Oh, but I do <laughs> want to ask you. you. <laughs> Say that. You are a female condom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. Um, so you see him, there's a chance. Yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if mine is scrambled or over easy, but you know. But don't you think, as being a female entertainer, especially with us being comics, do you find that it, it's, it's, because I always say, if you look at the popular comics that are female, mm -hmm. and you look at the past, like past, like top 10, most of them are either lesbian or they're single. Well, I think that for, for, for what it's worth when it comes to, like, comedy, I think it's a similar paradigm with, like, hip-hop. Like, men were kind of running the show for a mm -hmm. long time, and so in order for you as a woman to pop, you had to kind of, like, mimic this masculine energy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I think it's really dope to see us breaking out of that. You got Ali Wong, did a whole yeah. special, yeah. you know, like, it, it's no longer... And, and don't get me wrong, people like some more, you know, they were giving you fashion, et cetera, but yeah. she still had to be like hypersexualized, you know? And I think at this point, we're just seeing so many different versions of women and we've had men on stage talking about their kids forever. Yeah. So right. why can't women, women as well? Yeah. But, yeah. And there's but, a lot of comedy to come from that. Yeah, yeah. there's a but. <laughs> Motherhood but. is funny. <laughs> but I think that when it comes down to it, what's really great is just seeing that there's so many people who support just women making their own choices. So that's not just about comedy. That's in general. Yes. Yes. Our world yes. is opening its mind yes. up. And it's hard up to the fact that women have independence. I feel like it's easier to be a working mom now it's when you be, compare yeah. it in yeah. the past. You know, usually know, the moms yeah. are like stay-at-home moms. And it's hard. It's hard being a working mom. But I love being that example for my kids. Yes. I love that they're seeing their mom pursue and achieve her dreams. Yes. Yes. And I That's feel like powerful. I see a lot more moms being like, well, you just gonna be on the road with me. You know, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. we about babies. to have this uh -huh. baby. You gonna have to do this. And moms you know? that make the children adjust to the life of the mom. As mm -hmm. long as they're safe, they're gonna be okay no Araya matter what. stayed here, remember? Yeah. Araya was yeah. here for seven months. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I nursed because her. You were yeah. And uh -huh. you know what? You have to give a shout out to people like Diana Ross. Diana Ross got about 18 kids. <laughs> <laughs> and they all are fine. You know, uh -huh. and everything. They're talented and so, yeah, they're talented. We and should everything. die. So, I didn't know this. Yeah, she, she got has... about five. She got she has, five. She has five. She went from 18 no, she to five. Have five. Same, like, damn. <laughs> same difference. Yeah, same. 18, five. five. It don't matter. You know? <laughs> yeah, she has three girls and two boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Five children. Yeah. yeah.